Hello and welcome to Bear Rock. Your eyes do not deceive you, do not go anywhere. This is a forestry map. We are doing forestry. Uh, this is a poor boy map. I don't really know a lot about it. Uh, we said we were going to do a login series a long time ago. Give it a crack, see what we can do. This isn't quite the series I was going to do. Um, I accidentally deleted that setup save, so we're going completely fresh, something different. We're going to try something out. Let's get on with it. Let's get into it. So a little rundown of what we're going to try and do this series. We are going to go out. We've already brought some land. We own some land. We're going to try and clear parts of it, and we're going to try and clear it and create a farm. We're not going to worry about farming. We're creating a farm to then sell on move on ourselves and do something different so this is just a complete setup series no farming <laughs> i don't think we'll see how it goes if, if it progresses and people like it we may we may prolong it we may add something else in but at the minute we're just going out we're clearing the land we're going to be setting up the farm so we will plow in the fields we'll try and make things look nice we'll put down the placeables we'll do the stuff we're going to create the farm um yeah, it's something a little bit different, I think. So uh, let's show you what we have going in. Okay, we start with our Ford uh, 150. Just nice and simple little Ford. Little run around is going to get us out in the out in the hills, do our thing. We're coming in with the main equipment that Poor Boy gives you as you start. None of this do I know how to use. Uh, well, I know I know how we use it sort of. Uh, I use some of it on FS19. We've not done anything with trees on FS22. So we have the Komatsu uh, 875. I believe these are called like a, f a, f a forwarder. I don't know. I might be wrong with that. But I think this is a forwarder. But it's just um, logging trailer on the back. We've got the crane to try and load it up with. We will try and use the crane. I'm not very good at cranes. I haven't used a crane since early FS19, late FS17, since I last used a logging crane. Next up, we have another Komatsu. And it is the 931XC. This is a tree harvester. I know this. <laughs> I know this. They look cool. They look mean. Look at that. That is... That's death. Right. Right next to it, we have our TMC... Let's say Cancella. And that is a TFK200. And that is for mulching. It does do plowing and field creation. We're not going to use this to create fields with. Now, I don't know. I think you, you mulch and remove bushes with that i think if you want to do the plowing bit the uh the jaws go down and that's how you create the plow the mulch is under there behind the chains we then have i believe this is base game legal log runner i think it's called timber runner there we go one of those and we have ourselves a beautiful red uh mac pinnacle a 6x4 we'll try and do some running with that now as well as this when we come in we have just around the corner we don't own the fields because we've come, we come in on new farmer. Not fruit new farmer. We come on farm manager. So we had the 1.5 million. I brought the land I wanted. I brought the truck I wanted. Then I got rid of most of the money. So we just start with 500 grand. But we have a... Uh, a Deutz. Which one is this one? This is a uh, 7250 TTV HD Warrior Black. That comes in base with the game. With a quickie attach and bale spike on the front. And we do have a bio baler. And there's this massive field of poplar. Now, we're not going to worry about that. If we get a bit short on money, like I said, I don't think we think we own the land, but we could buy that field possibly and do the bales if we need extra money because we're not cheating anything in. What we've got is what we've got. We've got to take out trees to make money to build the farm once we're there. So once we've got our land cleared, we may have to go off elsewhere and, and do some logging to, to build and do as we, uh, as we wish. So we have here, this is our... I'll say our main cell point. This is a sell all cell point. It does have a trigger for logs. Um, tip, tip whatever you want in there. It is a biomass building, but it is a sell all point. Obviously, that is our petrol station or gas station since we're in the US. There is our dealership. Over here, this building works as our sawmill. And it works as a production sawmill. Uh, right where I'm standing is the trigger. We unload the wood here. There we can pop wood chips in. 
Okay, around the front is where you can uh, buy it if you wish. I'm not worried about buying it yet. Like I say, depends on how things go with the series and what we decide we need to add in. We may need to put some sort of production in just to produce more money. Wood doesn't always sell great. It normally sells better in a production form. So we've got all this space here so we could place things down. And over there is animals. We have no need for that as yet. So that's our setup. So this is the map itself. If you haven't seen it, this is Bear Rock. I should imagine everyone has. I think Bear Rock has been out for ages. Poor boy has done quite a few logging maps. I've just picked this one at random. Uh, what we've got going on is we own these three plots here. 7, 6 and 14. Just because. That, that's what I picked. It's not right where we're starting. If we wanted to do that, if I wanted to have that field, it cost us 400 grand anyway just to have the the periphery and that field. So we don't want that. But yeah, this is what we've got. Road. I figure this it's a small it's a small drive to and from places. If we we're up over here, I'd spend nearly all my time just driving. But I don't particularly want to do that, but I didn't want to be sitting right on top of where everything is because we wouldn't see anything. I have been out and had a little scout of the land and it's pretty steep. We're going to be looking to probably pull up around about here and, 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 and work our way in. Down here, this is relatively flat. This is a steep hill coming down from the road. So we want to get make our way in here, maybe get ourselves a track, maybe a, a swerved track, a swerved track, maybe a curved track in, loop and round, make it a bit safer. Something like that. And then get in down here. Clear out a good chunk of land. Not necessarily like we're not looking to clear log. We don't want to just wipe everything out. We want to leave something there that's going to give us a bit of character. So we're going to we'll clear out a space where we're going to put our house. We'll clear out spaces where we want to put our put our um our barns and we'll clear out something where we're going to put an animal pen or something. Then we'll clear out some nice nice areas to, to create some fields and, and do. Like I say, we're going to create something that we can theoretically sell on. So I'll jump in the Ford and we shall head up. This is a different Ford from what we use uh, in other series. Oh, I see what's going on here. Camera's in wrong way around. We'll uh, we'll remove that when we do <laughs> when we go in between episodes. I'll take out. Not that it really matters too much, but I do like to have my head in the right spot. So yeah, it's uh, I was just it's a nice map. I don't really know. I haven't been about all of it. I just went up and I thought, oh yeah, this spot will do. It's uh, far enough away. But it's a logging map. I I never mean to be sort of disrespectful to logging maps because you know what? They still take time. They still take effort. You've got to do the terrains. You got to make th make sure things work. That it is traversable and stuff like that. But you know, it's trees. The challenge is different. And the challenge is one that I've never really taken on. In FS19, I did like what everyone did. Um, we did a No Man's Land survival type thing. Uh, but we, uh, we used a lot of super strength and didn't really do the login part. We left most of the trees, took out a few, and just sort of worked around them. Uh, took out a couple as we needed them. Whereas going to try not to rely on super strength we're going to try and move the trees with the equipment move the trees move the logs with the equipment we'll be using cranes we'll be using grabs on wheel loaders or tele handlers we'll we'll do all that stuff that i'm not very good at we'll give it our best shot so just up here is where we are I think, I think this is sort of where I'm, th where I was thinking about. Well, that looks extra steep here. Yeah, I think that'll do. The, the challenge is the challenge, isn't it? It's, it's going to be tough terrain. It's not going to be easy to do. Whereabouts is that other track? That's what I want. If I bring up my map. Oh, we can go further along, I think. We can go further along. I just didn't want to be right on top of that other road. I think further along actually might even out a little bit more for us.
Yeah, let's go here. Let's take this bit. That looks like that might shallow out a little bit more. So if I pull over... Put our map away. And then... Uh, what we need to do is we need to mark up our trees, don't we? So we'll pull that. I think that's on. There it is. There. Right. So if we can say this is going to be the, the last tree in this row that we leave in. Okay. So keep that one in. And then go in trying to go down. Like trying to say you're going down straight is hard to do, but I feel like this then is a tree we're going to get rid of. We just want to go down, like I say, and mark out the area that I want to work within. Like this is just going to be to put in our first track. As you can see, as we get down here, it flattens out, but it is steep to, uh, to start with. We, we could use some, obviously, terrain editing. in. Change the land out a little bit. But that's going to be our... Our far... What's that? Mm -hmm. West? Our far west row. So this is going to be our entrance along that side. So if I come back to the top here. So that tree stays. So I want... This one gone. And say this one gone. Then well, this one can be our uh, furthest on the east. So everything inside of here can now be tagged. But I'll do like I did before. And I'll just tag up everything sort of going down. That runs in the way. Oop. Oh, that did take, that's why. Don't think that one is... Nope. That's not our line. That one is. So then as we come down... Take that one. Until I meet my ex. There, we'll just take this one as well. Right. So now all I need to do, I'll start at the top, just because that's me. I have ways about myself. We'll start at the top, and I'll spend a few minutes. I'll mark up all the trees in that area that uh, I wish to take out. This could take a little while. So we've got, I think, about 18 trees marked up, plus the original ones on the outside. And that's just going to be, like I say, that's going to be the, the entrance way in, down to our land. We may have to uh, adjust the course as we're going along. But yeah, from here, over to pretty much where the car is parked, gives enough to work with, I think. Even if we were to, say, come in at an angle and then curl back in on ourselves. Whatever. When it comes to putting the track in, that's how that's going to be. So I'll head over and uh, get the tree harvester. And here it is. Our Komatsu 931XC, I believe. Um, yeah, it is. Down bottom there. 931XC. This looks, well, quite deadly. Let's be honest. That is death waiting there for me. It's a big old thing. Like I said, I haven't used a tree harvester since FS19. I think the last time I did was on the Little Norton map. Anyone remembers that? Little Norton? Good map, that. I enjoyed that. So, 
not 100% with the, uh, the controls. I'll do my best. I will do my best. Everything for this is on mouse. My The stick on, on my side panel is configured more for front loader, wheel loader, telehandler. And it's just a little bit different uh, because I've adjusted the, the obvious twists and turns, lifts and that aren't necessarily as obvious as they are with everything else. It doesn't all match and correlate on, on the other equipment. This I do know. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Looks pretty cool across the view as well. So yeah, in this series I ask, <laughs> if you are an experienced logger, if you're someone that does logging, I ask that you bear with me on this one. This is completely new territory for me to do this much logging and actually use logging equipment. Like I say, I am I am a sucker for super strength. We do have um, lumberjack mod on uh, because no doubt there will be things that will frustrate me. I will have to lift and move. I know that the grabs aren't going to grab everything I want to grab. They're not going to. They're just not going to do everything I want to do. I know they're not. Um, I hear that it is improved and that it is easier, but we shall see. There we go, just stuff like that, look. I've already lost control of the bloody thing. Right. That will not be a stranger. That sort of thing will happen a lot. <laughs> if that turns you off, if that deters you, um, yeah, I'm probably not the, uh, <laughs> the login content creator for you. But also, word of warning, in this serials, serials in this series, there will be mass frustration, and there will be blue language. If blue language again is not for you, then uh, I was gonna say I apologise. I don't apologise. It's me. It's what I do. It's how I express myself. But yeah, there will be some some f's, some s's. Yeah, there's every chance of a c. You just don't know with me. They do come out. Uh, it depends on how how much frustration they get. I am going to put a little warning on the thumbnails for this series. Some people will think that's silly, but then I can't have anyone complain that, ooh, my child has heard this and it's terrible. If there's a little warning on it, you have been warned, and if you are a parent, you should know what your kids are watching. Right. So. To make a start, have I missed a tree? I've actually not marked up a tree. It doesn't matter, we can cut it, it's going to be our first tree, but... You don't want it to feel uh, left out. I do still have a sticky throttle. Um, I'm hoping I can get that fixed soon. I, am, I, I keep saying it, I've said it in every series since. So we have to turn it on to open it up, I think. Oh, you know what? We will be using that this series. Um, because of the type of series it is, I have already taken out force play and auto drive. They are not things that we are going to need. Not this time around. So, I was going to try and do some of this in cab, but that is not going to be doable, I don't think. Right. Now, with this being the first tree, where to actually put it is going to be my question. Not sure if I've actually given myself enough room here. We'll see. We'll see what, I've, what I can do. Right. So we have to push this to keep cutting. Neat stacks and piles probably won't be a thing that we have. I can't imagine any way, shape or form that this is going to be tidy. Like I say, if you do like your login <laughs> to be professional, that's not me. I can't even work the machinery. So if I can... That is more than a stump, isn't it? That is more than a stump. Right. So I need to get this lower. 
but right low, proper low. And again, camera angle wise, I haven't got a clue where I need to be. Um, we are set at five meter lengths. Hopefully that's going to be all right for us. If you would like me to take a little bit of realism on with this, I don't mind. We can go around, we can, I don't know, set up cones and signs. I think I've got some installed, if that's your thing. Um, oh, I think it's going to be easier for me to just use the keyboard to cut with, rather than go into the controls. Oh, you little bugger. Little, little end bit. Yeah, I think the last time I used a tree harvester, uh, I, I was just chopping into one metre lengths. Come on. Oh, that was lucky. I wish, <laughs> I wish many things. I wish there was a handbrake. That's what I wish there was. All right. I just think it would make sense. Oh, again, wrong way. As soon as, uh, as soon as you clip the ground, you start rolling. I get that that's sort of part of the challenge of some of this login stuff. But that is a little bit frustrating for a newbie like me. Right. Try and toss that on the pile with the rest of them. You just have to excuse my funny angles. I looks like I'm using the mouse to do all the controls. I don't have a separate joypad. Like I say, my, my stick is set up a little bit different from the controls that these things want. I'm not completely stupid. I did go out, go in, and have a little look at it. My control setup, that is. I thought I'm not going to go in and change all that, just in case this does well. If we do get good, and people enjoy it, I could set up a completely different key binding setup, I guess. I think if I hold them in together, that's right. Let's try and avoid the stump. Right. Oh. Just getting that little little ring to turn up sometimes is difficult enough for me. Oh, come on. There we go, right. Down. I want to get as low as I can so that the stumps are as low as they can be. Really. That's what I want. Now, I know it's not good that they're all overlapping on the track that's why I'm, I said if you if you'd wish I can uh, put some signs out but once we've cleared this top end we should be good because the rest of our work is going to be done like down on that flat plateau right seems to go in okay shall we see if we can get some sort of montage time lapse on the go See what we can do. See what my skills can do. Long days, long nights, no aid. This is my fight. A small cage, but a big hide. All's a stake, it's not time to shine. Yeah, I'm a train hard. Mistakes turn into learned scars. To build a brickyard, it's one by one, each bar. So build it tall, build it strong, build it large. And build a base first, so reliable, you can reach the stars. 
Light so bright, I can feel the rays. My lungs feel tight, I can barely breathe. Sleepless nights waiting for the day. I wanna be strong, wanna be brave. Bloody hands wrapped, covered up in tape. I might not be the best, but I never break. I will not surrender, I am a contender. I gotta be strong, gotta be brave. Well, things have gone pretty well so far. It's still early days, but I think some of these stumps are a little bit bigger than I probably want them to be. Let's see if I can bring that up, pull that round a little bit. If I can get it, so... Well, I'm not going to get it here, but the idea is if I can get it so the, the pile leans up against the stump, then I've got something to push the pile against when I want to pick them up. That's what I was thinking. I don't want a stump getting in the way, but if I can get a stump to help me out somewhat, then that would be nice. Now, I think... I mean, we're not going to go crazy. We want to try and do a little bit of something each episode if I can. Try and just do something new when I can. So, I want to take out the trees. Up to... Oh, mate, my sticky throttle is the end of me, I tell you. It's going to have me off a cliff on this series. For show. Well, I really thought that was going to look at that. That must be perfect in there, and it still it still says no. Well, we're taking it anyway. But yeah, this probably if I get that tree in front of me there, that tree there. And possibly that one, I think that's marked up. If I can get those. And. Which way are we going? Come. Yep. Can't do it in reverse. Not reverse, but you know. Opposite opposite sides. That's all I can do to do it one way. Um, yeah. So we'll do that. And then I want to try. We'll get the. What I call the. Sheriff's called the forwarder. The other. The log carrier with crane on, and let's see what we can uh, what we can load up, possibly. Or actually, no. What we'll do first, we'll get the stump grinder up here. That's what we need. Get rid of the stumps, so then we can get the the forwarder up and about. We'll take out as many of the stumps as we can, so they don't get in the way. But yeah, if we take them, take out the trees, pretty much up to the ridge here where it gets steeper then anything else we can grab we'll cut down like we'll cut down then the next step or the next sort of down to the next stage after we've cleared up here other way fat boy but yeah so far I mean it's not amazing my piles aren't that tidy but it's going better than I anticipated. Well, and I anticipated absolute dire. So, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not saying a lot. It just means that I've not screamed yet. I am not Master Logger. Just so you know. And I'm not... <laughs> at no point am I pretending to be bad. To, uh, to look funny or anything. That's... I'm just really bad at this. I'm starting to think we should have took that tree as well. It's sort of bugging me that it sticks out so much. Whoop. I mean, I say I haven't got a joystick. I've got an old joystick, but I think. I mean, it's really, really old. This one my stepfather gave me uh, a while back. Uh, he's a big flight simmer, and uh, I said I told him like, a while back I was going to get flight simmer try because I, you know, play simulate games, and he was he was quite excited that he could give me an old flight stick of his. So I have got a flight stick, but I'm not even sure if you could even get the drivers for it anywhere. Not without paying anyway. <laughs> it's that old, so it's like an antique. 
We'll see. Alright, let's just have a little look at what we've got to work with here. So I'm wondering if maybe we should take out a few more. I'm just I think that's feeling a bit narrow. Or that might just be because my logs have rolled off into this side. But I feel like we should have took them out. I think we do narrow out. Yeah, I'm going to mark up some more trees quickly. I'm going to take out... We can always replant stuff. In fact, I think that should be a thing where we have to replant. Sustainability is a thing, isn't it? So, shall we say we have to replant? You let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think we should replant a number of trees for how many we take out. On American Falls, I'm running the... I'm keeping count of them, by the way. We've not replanted any yet. We owe them at 15 trees on American Falls. But every two we cut, we have to plant three. So whether we uh, run something similar to that here? You guys let me know. You let me know what you think about doing sustainable logging. It's all about the angle, isn't it? Like, that one looks, oh, sticking out miles, but then the one behind us is probably closer in. That's why you mark them up, though. That is why you mark them up, because if not, you'll just end up chipping away that's stuff you don't really need. I'm not going to go down there. We're going to save that for next time. Let's get that one over there. Because once we got rid of the stumps, we'll have more maneuverability. This would even probably be easier with a control pad. Not going to lie. I'd definitely be more comfortable with that. I haven't got a control pad set up, though, for FS. There are no control pad uh, bindings on my game. That's why even if, uh, if you're in my Discord, you'll see sometimes I share little pictures and stuff of my son when he plays, and he plays when he plays on my PC. And even he has to use the wheel and the... Uh, the side panel and he's three and a half we don't let any give anyone free passes around here so we shall we turn that off yep it's off now this is where I seem to be having difficulty like There was a little bit where I was trying to put it against a tree. And it just, every time I went to slide down the tree, it would pop back up. It didn't like where I was trying to put it. That's what she said. Right. Just want to make sure we are. We're good. Right. Yes. So, I'll head back down to our, our, little, our little plot at the store. And um, we'll grab the doits, we'll put the grinder on, and we'll get rid of some of the stumps. So here we go, in our beautiful doits. The warrior. With our mulcher on front. I've got it on the front, I'm sure. You know, well, you should have it on the back. I've got a big weight on the back. I've put a 2.3 weight on the back. Stick that on the front, it's just going to be easier for me to control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy tiger. But yeah, this is beautiful inside. This is homely in here. This is This is my cup of tea. <laughs> I'm a fan of the Deutz. It just so happens to be that there was a Deutz on here. I didn't even put this in. I think I've I've done pretty well yeah, with FS twenty two. That I've not really gone Deutz heavy anywhere. We've had a couple of old Deutz on different series, I think. We we've not gone we've not gone balls out and gone like a full Deutz series. We've got a, a nice big warrior on our Saxthorpe multiplayer 
server. And that was um, Lin Yuen. He grabbed that. He likes a Deutz. I like a Deutz, so we are both happy about that one. The terrain is quite nice. It's not overly challenging. Um, I say that now when I've got a lug. <laughs> I've got a lug loads of uh, stuff about. I might feel a little bit different about it. But we'll see. We shall see. I think I can turn that off now because it's just a case of turning the mulcher on and driving into the stumps, I think. I don't think this will take out any of our logs. Not 100% on that, but I don't think it will. Oh, that one disappeared nice and easy, that one. So let's try to just get a few of these. Now, if us down, it will plow like that. So it doesn't matter if we do that. But go on too many of them patches. I don't think, anyway. I thought that that only did that. Well, perhaps that's not a ploughed state. Perhaps that's just giving us to, to plough it. I think put that down. I think that down ploughs. Sorry about the camera angles. Sometimes, if we've got the right height, it takes all the stump out. Just roll into them, see what it does. Oh, yeah, did get it, did get it. We have to lower it. On some of the sloped ones is when I'm going to have to lower it. Got it. Ooh. That is so steep. That's going to be fun. That's why we're saving that for we've got a little bit more. Not necessarily experience because we've only got this to work with. But I might be a little bit more comfortable by the time we get down there. Now, I'm not going to try and drag this out. Um, some of these episodes as we go along may be heavily edited. Some of them might just be a long version of a single job. Depend on, like I say, depend on what it is. The, the loading of our trailers is going to take me a long time. I am not good at that. Because I am awful with those cranes. I'm not looking forward to that. But in time, hopefully... I'll get better. The more I do it, the better I should get. Hopefully. Now, this is going to be a risky one. Will this pick up any of those logs? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it does, it does. Oh, oh my, perhaps it didn't. I don't know. We're still getting the... Uh, I think it has. Look at the angle on that. I think it got a little bit of our log. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the uh, the reverse. Okay. Have we any more obviously visible stumps? I think there's one under that pile. And that might be it. Let's turn this off for now. Don't need the extra noise for no reason. Oh, we've got one there. Oh, we've got two here. one right so oh 
How did I miss that one? How indeed. Go. Just gonna park this out of the way a bit. Lights off. There we are. So, our piles. I tell you what, they're not the worst. That's not the worst piles of logs I've done over the years. No. Actually, it's probably the best. I don't know what I was going to say, but not the best, but yeah. Probably the best. Um, I think that's, n for me, not a bad day's work. For some people, that would have took 5-10 minutes. For me, that's taken probably the better part of an hour. And uh, I've got rid of that down. I don't want these to be long. Um, there's not going to be no set, real set pace to them. Time's set at 10 at the minute. Uh, we will be jumping to two day to two day months next month. Uh, an episode might be a day. An episode might be half a day. A, an episode might be a couple of days, depending on what we do and how I want to put it together. But I think for our first day out, logging, that's not too bad. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.